St. Hilda's Church in South Shields is probably a really old church. And I mean really old. Going back to 6, 645. Um, well, obviously not this particular building. This was uh, a much later uh, construction. But this construction here was built by and designed by Robert Trollope in 1675. Now, Bob Trollope was a very famous architect around the north of England. He built the Guild Hall, the original Guild Hall in Newcastle at the Quayside. He also built, um, he was one of the architects involved in Clifford's Fort in 1672, which I've done a, a video on um, and talked about quite a lot. So, Robert Trollope uh, built this tower and built this, this great uh, thing and this great church in 1675. But, like I say, it was originally uh, dedicated to St. Hilda. Um, back in maybe 645 AD. And we, we know that for a couple of reasons. Um, basically, St. Aidan was the Bishop of Lindisfarne. And he was respond He was an Irish monk. And St. Aidan came over to this country. He came over and based himself at Lindisfarne. And he was under the protection of King Oswald, who bought Christianity, who united England in, as a Christian country and made Northumbria Christian. And so... Oswald was educated in Ireland, he spoke the Irish language, and he brought Bishop Aidan over to be based at Lindisfarne and convert the Northumbrians to Christianity. And what Aidan ended up doing was giving a huge tract of land north of between the Weir and the Tyne, he gave that to St. Hilda. And St. Hilda was a great missionary at the beginning. She was an Anglian princess. She was a great missionary in the beginning of the Christian church in this country. And she uh, ended up... For, um, Establishing a nunnery here and a monastery here, and then another nunnery down at Hartlepool, and then she was famous of being abbess of uh, Whitby, and she over oversaw the Synod of Whitby, which was the first great meeting of the church in this country, which amalgamated the Celtic Church and the the Anglian Church, uh, sorry, the Roman Church. So Hilda was a great missionary, and she spent her life preaching and proselytizing and everything, uh, and she founded this nunnery here in 645. Bede wrote about it a couple of years later in Bede's story of the uh, St. Cuthbert's miracle at Tynemouth. He wrote about a monastery being here. Now, what you've got to imagine is that in the old days, this would have sat just on the south side of the original channel at, that ran from Mill Dam out to the ocean, out to the beach, down, down King Street and down Ocean Road. And from here, you would have been able to see right up the Tyne to Jarrow, to Benedict Biscops and Bede's monastery, at, at Jarrow, and that would have sat across the, a huge bay, of, which was Jarrow Slake, um, which is now largely industrialized and built on, and there's lots of buildings in the way, but the view you would have got across the Tyne, across the bay of Jarrow Slake, or Egfrid's Port, as Jarrow Slake was sometimes known, which was uh, over to Bede's Monastery, would have been a wonderful view, and this sat basically above the river, and the, the, the river would at the channel, it, it would have started at Mill Dam, it would have made South Shields Law, and the, where the Roman fort is an island, and the channel would have ran all the way down to the sea, and this, so this would have stood up next to a river. And um, the reason it was here is because, uh, like I mentioned in an earlier video, St. Oswin was born in the Roman fort, and just as uh, St. Oswald protected Aidan at Lindisfarne from his royal seat at Bambra, uh, St. Hilda was protected here from the royal, with, by the royal seat at the Burg or at Kerifa. So that means that the, the Christian church and the, the church organization was in close proximity to the royal seat.